All right, so check it. This box right here, yeah, this box. It's been sitting in the same spot for about three weeks, and honestly, what's in this box intimidates me. Anytime I brought myself to open it, I'd find an excuse not to do it, and I put it right back. What's the excuse, you might ask? What does every grown man in America do to procrastinate? He plays Mario Kart. Or I may play fetch with my girl Dizzy. Ready? Ready? Get your ball. Bring it here. Bring it here. Drop it. Or I'll watch the NBA playoffs while eating potato salad. Cause I love potato salad. And yo, don't tell my wife I'm eating directly out of the container. She hates that shit. But this week, I finally sucked it up and got over my fear of opening this box. What's in the box, you ask? It's another fucking box. But what's inside this one? It's the digital photo Stanos SE gimbal support vest. And that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. And before we start, I do want to thank digital photo for sending me the Thanos. Hey, what's good YouTube? Tristan here back with another video. And today we're talking about this piece of equipment right here, the digital photo Thanos SE gimbal support vest. And I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm not at all intimidated by it. I was just, you know, Kind of putting on for the short throw a little humor in there um, let me know if you all like those by the way i have a lot of fun making those um but i've never used anything like this before uh, i always tend to use my ring grip i i love that thing it's also by digital photo you can kind of see it back there in the background but uh when digital photo reached out to me to send me this i was like of course i would love to you know get my hands on it and test it out. Now again, Digital Photo did reach out to me to send me this vest, but they're not paying me or anything like that to say nothing but positive things about it. As always, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys and give you my honest opinion on the product. So if you are looking at getting a gimbal vest pretty soon, hopefully this video does help you along the way. Um, right now, let's go ahead and go outside. I'm gonna show you all how to strap this onto your, your body, your person, and how to mount the gimbal to it. All right, here's the vest, and I'm gonna put this on in real time, just so you guys can see how long it takes. Um, so you just put it on over your, your person, and then these two back straps right here, these go around your back, just like that. Strap them in, and then there's two more straps. Forgive that car. There's one right here, strap that in, just like this. Same thing on the other side, just like that. Come on. And then your vest is on. I'm gonna talk about how it fits later on in the video. You can, as you can see, it's a little loose, but again, I'll save that for our conversation later. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my shirt down a little bit too. I feel, I feel silly. Does this look better? You can see like my audio pack right here. <laughs> All right, the next thing we wanna do is go ahead and mount the arm onto the vest. And as you can see right here on the arm itself, on the end of it, there is a, a locked and unlocked position. So you wanna make sure it's unlocked and then you want to slide it onto this plate right here. So we're gonna do just that right here. And then what you can do, you can slide it down and then you wanna make sure that it's locked. So you lock it into place, just like that. Now you can adjust the height of the arm if you would like. All you have to do is unlock that switch and you can slide it down or up to however high or however low you want it to be. And again, I'm sorry, if the mic is picking up that sound of me sliding this up and down, I'm sure it sucks and I'm totally sorry, but I'm gonna leave it right here for now. Now we are ready to mount the gimbal onto the arm, but before we do, uh, keep in mind this thing can hold between two and eight kilograms, which I believe is between four and 18 pounds. Also, you wanna make sure that your gimbal is balanced. Mine is already balanced, I did it, and I'm just showing you right here, so you know that I'm not lying. So I'm gonna loosen this up real quick, uh, but the arm of the gimbal is gonna go through this slot right here, and then you have this clamp that you turn to squeeze it in and hold it in place. So we're gonna go ahead and slide the arm into this hole and then put it in place. It's really easy. Again, I'm gonna do this in real time so you all know what to expect. So let me go ahead and pick the gimbal up. I'm gonna close the tripod portion. And I'm going to put this in there. I'm gonna turn it real quick just so I can get through the gimbal, get the handle through the gimbal like that, and then it's in place. I'm gonna turn it back around and again, I'm just gonna screw this clamp until it's tight and snug into the handle. Almost, 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 almost. Okay, and 
we're there and there it is now we have the gimbal attached to the arm just like that Whoa, what's going on here i think i was hitting the knob when i was putting it in but uh <laughs> there it is look at this i don't have my hands on it and it's it's pretty pretty steady i dig that man right off the bat uh i can tell you that my favorite thing about this is that it requires virtually no arm strength um, all the weight is distributed uh, across your two shoulders and your back. Um, the most that you would need to use your arms is to maneuver the gimbal where you need it. But otherwise, no, no effort. It's not heavy at all on my arms. And I feel like I can wear this and work the gimbal for hours, like if I were to be shooting a wedding or something like that. Now, a couple of features on this arm. Um, there are two adjustment knobs right here. So you can adjust the spring load according to the weight of your camera. But if you adjust it just right, if you adjust it just right, you can essentially have your camera sit in place just like that. Again, it just depends on how heavy your setup is. Another thing you can do, um, if you loosen this knob right here, you can throw the camera into underslung mode just like that. And if you need to adjust the arm to go lower on here, just to get a little bit, little bit lower, um, that helps too. But this is great for those low walking shots or riding shots or whatever kind of shots you want that are low to the ground. And the transition is pretty smooth as well. Um, this does have like gears, I guess, if you want to call it. So you can, you can feel it rattling a little bit, but I don't think it messes with your shot. Um, if they could just make that a little bit smoother, um, it'd be perfect. But otherwise, again, the transition to underslung mode is pretty easy. There's also this knob right here. So if you need to go sideways and pivot with the gimbal, if you need to, you can do that as well. Really easy to do. Now, clearly this isn't my typical complex uh, gimbal setup. So if you wanted to add a monitor or a microphone, there are several attachments that you can add to the gimbal itself um, because nothing sucks more than going into underslung mode and looking at a tiny monitor. So if you wanted to put a monitor on here, an external monitor, so you can see your shot, that'll definitely help. Otherwise, this thing is really, really cool. And shout out to Digital Photo again for, for sending me this thing. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. Um, I do have some final thoughts. So let's go ahead and toss it back to the studio. And I'll let you guys know what I think about this product overall. Now, there are a couple drawbacks to this thing. And the first one being how it fits on me. I will admit, I'm a pretty small guy. And when I put it on, I tightened all the straps as tight as I could but I could still feel how loose it was. And I definitely felt it when I was using it because it kept shifting a little bit. Not a lot, but you could feel it and it is kind of awkward. So maybe that's something that I have to get used to um, and be conscious of when I am using it. Now, the second thing is the size of it. It is pretty big and it's pretty clunky. And I can imagine it can be kind of tough to travel with, especially if you want to keep your equipment down to a minimum. It's just another thing to bring along with you. And if you're like me and you're a minimalist, a minimalist filmmaker, you're probably better off just using the gimbal itself or at most a ring grip. Now, personally, I don't think I would ever travel with this thing because again, it's just another thing to take with me. But for anything local, I'm 100% gonna use this. Last thing I'll say is that at a price point of 645 bucks plus taxes, plus shipping, um, compared to other gimbal support vests and steady cam support vests out there, this thing is an absolute bargain. So if you're in the market for a support vest and you don't wanna break the bank, this is definitely the way to go. Um, try it, see how you like it. If you don't like it, you can always return it, but I'm definitely gonna hold on to it. Um, I do have a music video shoot coming up with my homie Kurt. Um, and I'll definitely be using this vest for that shoot. You know, after saying that, I feel like I talk really fast in these videos and I'm trying my best to slow it down, but I feel like I, my, my brain was running a lot faster than my mouth, but that's besides the point. <laughs> All right, y'all, that's it for this video. That's all I have for you today. Um, I appreciate all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something from this video, drop a like down there, drop a comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. My name is Tristan Irvin. I upload videos weekly. I talk about camera gears. I do tutorials and the occasional vlog. Also, hit that bell notification so when I do upload, you get notified. And until that next video, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.